Here we are back again with Franchise Mode, NHL 21, starting off with Expansion Team, the Seattle Dancing Crabs. We are a meme, and that is okay. So, starting off, the, there's some actually cool new settings. Now, I didn't, I wasn't recording in time, but basically you can choose, there's the uh, Sim Engine scoring still there. I didn't know how that was, so I left it on medium and then cranked up attribute effects. That's how we were able to, in the past, get more realistic NHL scoring. We're going to try that out. And there's a couple other cool settings. There's like um, high-end prospect generation setting and uh, strength of draft, cra uh, draft class settings. So I actually cranked those both up to high just to see how that'll be. If it's Obviously, if it's too much, you know, we won't do that. But I just wanted to see for this first, you know, this is more of a throwaway franchise mode. I haven't added anyone to the rosters. I'm just using the roster update today and then, you know, tweaked a couple things just to make sure I could use it as a custom roster. And then, so, you know, hopefully the rosters are as accurate as possible, like, you know, Brody on Toronto, etc. All the signings that have happened, Petro to Vegas, and hopefully that'll be it. If it's not, well, I'm not going to start this over again because I already had to start it over. <laughs> because, yeah, it didn't use, I thought default would have meant the latest roster, but it doesn't mean that. And I forgot to turn on the advanced contracts one year. And I'm hoping you still have to do that for, uh, you know, expansion. Because this, like, weirdly counts as a year or something. So I did that anyway. Otherwise, why even have that option? You know? So <laughs> that's where we are at. Um, yeah, actually, I can't, unfo unfortunately, can't show you those settings. But you'll see them if you open up franchise mode. It's, uh, like, the advanced settings. It's actually pretty cool. I'm actually excited to test that out. So that's what we're doing here. We're <laughs> going to see how many high-end prospects are going to come into here. So, without further ado, let's get started. We're going to advance to this expansion draft. Yep, all these pop-ups. We pretty much know what's going on here. And oh, we went all the way back to sixth. Come on, game. How are you going to make us go back to sixth here? All right, well, we're going to have to really, really get some decent players in here in the expansion draft, I guess. Because the draft's not going to be good. I don't think we're even going to get an elite with that draft position. So, there you go. All right, let's begin the expansion draft. Because this first draft year, it doesn't use like Lafreniere or anyone. At least I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It didn't in previous years, especially with the updated roster. They should just be on their teams. So this should be like a throwaway uh, first entry draft anyway. Hmm, do we want to take Henrik's to? Yeah, it's not even that bad of a contract. The length isn't great. Okay, wow, they got Sonny Milano. I might take him. High top six. Yeah, he's 24, but he's exposed. Okay, good. Ryan Miller isn't there, so it should be good. All right. Um. Hmm. I don't know what their other contract situation is like, so would, would taking Henrik off their hands help them? I'm like kind of like, I want to get some decent players, but I also want to like help other teams' contracts. I think Ducks are fine. They're like rebuilding anyway. Let's take Sonny Milano. He could be. He could... You know, turn into a nice little third liner for us. All right, Goligoski, Stepan, Demers. Hmm. There we go. Uh, wow, Darcy Kemper exposed. Uh, yeah, we could try to get him some uh, some stack growth. He's in a really good position. So let's let's swoop on D Darcy Kemper right there. All right, Nick Ritchie. Maybe we should just be a mean team. Wow. Craig Smith. Probably should be a bit better than anyone. He's got like a couple decent seasons. I guess not last year, so he's down pretty far. But hold on. He's had a few like 30 goal seasons, hasn't he? Okay, not 30 goal seasons, but decent 20 goal. Okay, yeah, he's in a... All right, anyway. Sorry. He's a pretty consistent 20 goal guy, though. I feel like he should be a bit higher. Whatever. Um, Richie, the bust. We could just be, like, really stupidly tough. Do they have, like, a decent back? Oh, we can get Halak. But they actually probably, you know, they need a good backup, so. I'll leave him. What is DeBrusque exposed for? Oh, wow, they have DeBrusque exposed. Hmm. I'm actually really tempted to snag DeBrusque from him. That's what they get for leaving him exposed. He's mine now. Buffalo. They exposed Stahl, which is, he's on a really good contract. I'll leave him there. Um, I don't want to go, you know, steal everyone away. You know, we get someone like Colin Miller. That's not a great contract. He's okay, but, oh, actually. 
Let's help out Buffalo. They, they've suffered enough. Let's take a bad contract off Buffalo's hands. Now they'll 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 owe us now. Yeah, we're gonna take back that Backlund contract's god awful. So we're gonna take him off the hands of uh, Calgary. That's partly what I'm doing here. Try to help out some teams. I'm not trying to build the best team. I'll get some decent players, maybe some decent young players, but I'm not trying to go out of my way to make an amazing team. We do still need a decent backup. They don't really have a good starter. Maybe I'll leave him Reimer. Shea, that's not the greatest of contracts, but it's not bad either. He's a pretty serviceable defenseman. That Gardner, eh, they're both okay contract. Gardner is kind of more in between. He actually might be a guy to, we could put on the first pairing, maybe even get some stat growth out of him. You know what? I'll put Gardner in there tentatively. I'll kind of put him in there. I don't know if we'll 100% keep him, but yikes, that DeHaan contract. Delia, they'll have like no goalies after that point. <laughs> That Dahan contract is terrible. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> is he is that OFD? 81 oh Jesus. What a terrible player. Uh Eunice Donskoy, probably the one we want to go with. I think I got him last time, but that helps out Colorado. I don't want to see Colorado kill it. And that's yeah, we're gonna grab Donskoy off their hands. That'll give them a ton of flexibility to get an even better player. Uh Atkinson. Nykvist. Oof. He could be a good first liner for us. That's a pretty hefty contract for the guy. No goalie. I'm kind of tempted to get Nykvist. It's not a horrible contract. And the Atkinson's one worse. I don't actually, I don't even know if I want to pay him for that long. Kind of the same player. Savard. Hmm. Also have a kind of a prospect issue. 2377 though. Yeah, he's top four, but yeah, he could turn into a solid. You know what? He's, he does look good at defense, although his awareness might be a bit low. Hmm, he is young. I do like that. Yeah, we'll go for him. I think Columbus needs offense. They got rid of a lot of crap. I don't know why they cleared up so much cap. Let's see what Dallas has. Guryan Ooh, Guryanov. I think I got him last year, though. Maybe want to hold off on that. Sakara. Dickinson, no one really good there. They got Kadobin on the block. Yeah, so it did extend. Okay, good. But then they're going to have that one-two punch in goal. I, I'm just going to take Gurionov. I don't really see a downside to taking Gurionov, man. He looks good. Okay, Stature, De Kaiser, terrible contract. We'll take it off your hands. Help you out there. Edmonton, so we're still looking for a backup. Barry, nope, nope. James Neal, yep. Help them out there by taking James Neal off their hands. If we keep taking bigger contracts, that will run out. Might want to get, might get Strom in there. Ooh, you know what? They have a few. Are those? Are, no, they have Bobrovsky still. So we can take one of these guys off their hands. Twenty-six. No, let's go for Montembo, who's a bit younger. Yeah, we'll get Montembeau. There's prop, maybe a backup. I'm not too sure. He's a low, probably not low elite. He, low, he, he might even be a low fringe starter. So he, ha, he could have like zero upside, but whatever. We do need another, did need another goalie there. All right, we still have tons of cap space. So we're not in real danger of running out here. Not ever taking Dustin Brown. I don't care if it'll help him. Dustin Brown's garbage. <laughs> Jonathan Quick. I mean, we could take that. Con that would give them some flexibility, but then they'd really have no goaltender. But they are rebuilding. This would help them kind of. And then we could have Montembeau in the AHL. Hmm. Ranta and Quick. Expensive goalies. But we do need to spend money for a few years. We'll put that in there for now. Could go back. I didn't really see anything good on their forward. Oh my god, Spurgeon. That's a horror. I don't even want. That's just like too bad of a contract. Minnesota, what are you doing? What? Why is Benino here? Oh, yeah, no, no, they traded for... Yeah, that's right. I, I I was confused. I was like, wait, no, he got traded. Yeah. To Minnesota. Come on, Sin. Get with the program here. Also, Cam Talbot. 
Victor Rask. Probably take him off their hands. He's really not that good. It's only a couple years. We'll need to spend some money. You never know. Maybe if depending on the role we play, we could actually get some stat growth. We'll see. All right, so we need more centers and left wingers. Wow, a bunch of defensemen here. Armia. <laughs> Look how they did Anderson, dude. Wow. I mean, I know we only had... Jeez, I guess you're like looking at ups. I didn't know he was 26. Holy shit. It's not that great of a contract. Lekin in... At this point, I don't want any of those because those are just really, really bad. Nah, HL starter. Damn. Well, any sort of prospect types? Doesn't look like it. Maybe a defenseman? I don't know. We have four right now. There's some pretty good cheap ones. Edmondson, that's not a great contract. It's going to be like four years at that price. Another left. I don't even know what our lefty-righty split's looking like. I'll... I'll take that contract off their hands. I would give them a bit more flexibility there. It's not a great, great deal. At home is very, very tempting. But, again, I'm not trying to make a, the great team. I'm actually trying to help teams out halfway. Get some good young talent, but... Really what I'm looking for is perhaps guys that can... Ooh... I'm going with Ingram then. He might have some potential. They already have Saros. They have Rene. I think they... No, yeah. That, yeah, they have Saros and Rene. Then they also have... I thought they had a pretty good... Yeah, they just... Well, yeah, they just drafted freaking Askarov. Yeah. So they don't need Ingram anymore. We have four goalies, but we need that anyway, so... All right, New Jersey. What do you got? Butcher. Andreas Janssen. Zajac. Probably take Zajac off their hands. Ooh, but they got Jesper. Why is he 21? Is that... Hmm. He might not be supposed to be exposed, actually. You know what? Let me just take Zajac. That'll free up some cap space for him. They could get back to uh, maybe being a good team. Take a center off their hands. Remember last year? They had just like... New Jersey would always have like 10 million centers. I don't know what it was. But they'd always have about 10 million centers. Wow, they got their captain exposed. How That's messed up. Maybe Komarov. That would help out the Isles. It's not a terrible contract, but it's also not... Ooh, Lad is even worse. Yeah, let's get Lad. Let's get that terrible contract. There you go. You're welcome, New York. Getting towards that cap floor now. They got Ryan Strom. Ooh, that is tempting. That's a pretty solid center. Not good at face-offs, but he's got the offensive upside. And anything to screw up D'Angelo. There's no one else really good here. I'm not taking Jack Johnson. I might take Strom off their hands, man. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's supposed to be... Yeah, he's supposed to be, like, free agent anyway. Yeah, fuck it. I don't even feel bad about that. I'm gonna take Strom. There's another center. We got four centers, four right wings, three left wings, only five defensemen. What does Ottawa have? Do they have Duclair? Or is he actually just... Yeah, though they might actually be protecting him. Connor Brown, Rudolph Balsers, maybe. If he is top six indeed, he could actually get up to a nice middle six area. We do need more left wingers. I'm going to take Rudy. They got enough young talent. Fuck you guys. <laughs> no, I'm not salty about that, Stutzel. Oh, isn't it obvious? Man, Reams Dyke, they could use him. Braun, that's such a good extension for Braun, to be honest, in real life. I think he's slightly better than Nitty overall, but whatever. Who is this guy? I'm taking him. I don't care. Hopefully you got some uh, good prospects. I, they, they have plenty of defensemen there in Philly. Give me him. Uh, Dumoulin. Hmm. Tanev's not a great contract. We do need more left wing. That's a pretty crappy contract. That's really expensive for a borderline fourth liner. Wow, wow, we actually are pr almost out of cap space here, though. Can't go too crazy with some of the remaining stuff. What's this guy? Two-way guy, decent defensively, decent face-offs. We'll take him. 
San Jose, they got Gambrell exposed. Ryan Donato. Wow, is he pretty bad in this? Looks like it. Ooh, they got Shmolevsky exposed. Hmm. Kind of feel like I should take a prospect. Wait, why is Shimile No, he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be available, I don't think. He hasn't played enough. Malosh, that makes sense, but no one else does. Yeah, I would have him exposed, too. All right, um, I'm going to go with Shmolevsky here. Oh, wait, no, no. Yeah, I forgot. I don't think he can be exposed, actually. Maybe Gambrell, then. Sorensen, that's a pretty low contract. They don't really... Oh, he's actually a really good defense. Oh, sniper? That's weird. A lot of centers, but that. Oh, center slash right wing. That's okay. Yeah, let's go with Gambrell. Screw it. St. Louis. Perron, that's an incredible contract for them. Ooh, Sammy Blay. Oof, looks like they tanked his offensive awareness this year. But still, it's another left winger. Young. Yeah, let's take him. Not much money. Uh, Cal Foot, 21. I Again, I don't know if this guy's supposed to be exposed. Pretty sure we got Sorelli last time. Maroon. Wait, 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 wait. Why is he still here? Interesting. Okay. Not too sure why he's still there. Center slash left wing for Coleman. Going really great there. <laughs> Braden Coburn. I don't think he even played. I guess I could take him off their hands, an extra defenseman. Sure. Although they did lose Shattenkirk, whatever. Toronto, what do you got? They got Brody exposed. Ooh, Pierre Engvall looking kind of kind of juicy there, but now we're short on right wingers, but who cares? Hmm. Hmm, I don't know how good he is. He's in a good location though, at least uh, age-wise. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Engvall. Doesn't really help Toronto, but they didn't have anything great exposed. They need Brody. They need offense more than anything. Alrighty. Maybe uh, too low, probably. He could be a knight. No, he's a sniper. Nope. Too old. Nothing really great here for Vancouver. Ugh, I don't like any of these guys. I hate them all. They're all bad. Maybe get Brandon Sutter? So yet another center. Oh, he also plays right wing. You know what? Yeah. Let's take Brandon Sutter then. Hurt the Canucks even more than their GM did. <laughs> We're almost out of money. That's actually incredible. All right. Let's see. Dilly Dilly with that crazy extension. Jensen, TVR, that's an unreal deal, honestly, for TVR. Sprong? Yeah, that's a could be a nice... Pr what? Oh, okay. Oh, I need... Yeah, that's right, I actually need nine. I was like, just, nah, Just kind of cruising along right there. Alright, well, I'll take TVR off their hands then, screw it. Alright, so we need one more defenseman here. DeMello. That's pretty hefty extension for him. He is good. Could also just grab Spiza to kind of shore things up. But that's a, that is a righty for DeMello. And he could be a long, kind of a long-term dude for us, but... Oh, they also have Niku here. Hmm. I don't even know how much left he... He's young, too, man. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go with that. 
All right, so there we go. That is our expansion draft. We tried to help out some teams taking off bad contracts. We also got some decent players. We got some decent young talent. Overall, I think it's a, you know, a kind of an okay-ish team. Again, I wasn't trying to like, um, like make a great team. I wasn't trying to make a bad team. And I wasn't trying to really, really hurt anyone else. So I think we did a bit of everything right there. And I'm okay with it. Alright, so do I press start? How do I... We done? Oh, finished draft. There you go, right there. Derp. Alright, draft is finished. We have our team here. And there you go, get another look at it. Some guys just picking up to, for contracts, helping out other teams just to hit the cap floor. We're almost at the cap ceiling. Uh, go to draft interviews. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we got draft interviews. Okay, so where are we? Oh, wow, what? We actually have no scouting? Okay, well, let's interview these three guys then. I'm surprised at that. I thought we'd at least have a bit of scouting. They used to do that, but no. Wow, zero. Okay, you got some here, but wow, zero scouting for those. Okay, that's pretty harsh. All right, well, we have the sixth pick, so we'll probably interview these three guys. And though they're targeting those dudes, maybe go six, seven, eight instead of five. We probably won't be able to, but I do want to see what five is in case he does drop and is a right defenseman. He probably won't drop, though. Yeah, I, I would rather see if we can get, get, get in the lead around here. Let's look at Tursen Baev here first. Okay, what do I like to do? Play style. Let's see, readiness and... Yeah, there we go. What's your ETA? Um, at least a few seasons, so three years. Playing style. Um, playmaker, okay. And I guess we can go with like personality or something. I don't really care about strengths and weaknesses. You figure that out quick enough. But locker room chemistry is important. Oh yeah, you have to click this twice. Does this feel a bit slower than it did last year? Carefree, okay, so kind of carefree. I don't know if he like cares about winning too much, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're gonna really get anyone kind of figured out potential wise. At least we could see what these dudes are. Two left wingers. Why are we targeting? It's interesting that we're targeting these three and not this guy. If that, I mean, if that right D jumps, uh, drops back, then we'll obviously pick him because he's probably going to be an elite. So there's no real need to interview him, I don't think. So we'll figure it out. Let's see what Dmitriev is like. He is three years out. Pro God, I hate those songs. I have the so the freaking soundtrack turned off, but the song banner still pop up. I don't like, oh, another playmaker. Three-year playmaker. So two winger playmakers right there. Although I do have the thing cranked up to for stronger uh, draft picks. So, I mean, does that apply to this first year? I don't know. Um, so well-rounded personality, that's pretty good. Especially the loyalty thing. That's that's could be good if he is like any sort of really, really good talent here. Oh, I got to remember to turn off Fog of War for the draft. Um, yeah, hard to say what he's going to be. There's a center right here. He's actually real, so probably don't want to look at him. Yeah, he's he's not going to be anything special, I don't think. If he's a real dude. Let's look at Sawchuck then. A center right here. I don't think either of these guys are going to be anything great, but we'll see. Okay, probably, let's see what his ETA is. So yeah, I think everyone's going to be three year around here. Probably like top sixes and stuff, to be honest. Sniper at least, so that's that's good. Maybe a goal score for us. All right, and let's see what his personality is like, and then we will be done with the pre-draft interviews. Okay, well-rounded personality. All right, I'm kind of bummed that they don't give you any. They used to give scouting information on that first, <laughs> this first thing. We have like zero. We have not. We have no clue what's going on. Rick Sawchuk, Tursen Bide. So this guy, if this is correct, he shouldn't be able to be higher than a medium top six. If that's correct, it used to be, you know, two ticks. It can only move uh, two potentials in either direction. 
And obviously, if this guy's drop back drops back, we'll take him immediately. I don't think he will though. Pretty bummed that we didn't get high. We got literally the the, the furthest back we could have gotten in this first draft. All right, well, there's that. Before we get into the enter draft here, let me turn off Fog of War so that we can see the potentials when we draft them. Won't really matter for this one too much, but I just want to get in the habit quick because I will forget at some point. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do it. Go to I, I just wasn't draft interviews. Okay. Wait, can I keep no, I, I've already done three and so you have to sim after that? Didn't it used to just like go? Oh well. Whatever. There's the draft. Maybe they put that like there to... I don't know. Anyway, here's the entry draft now. Let's see what we can do. So we have the sixth overall pick. New Jersey, LA. Oh yeah, it went all crazy. Alright, let's go. Let's see what goes here. Oh, 83. Medium elite sniper. Yeah, I think I think it is kicking in because that's a pretty damn good pickup right there. So good for uh, the Devils. LA is going to get another great player. Uh, 78 medium elite. Not amazing. The Sens. Okay. 71 medium elite playmaker. So it looks like it dropped off pretty quick after that first guy. Yeah, okay. It did. 67 medium elite. I don't know if that defenseman drops back, we can get something special. I don't think we I don't think he will though. Nope. He oh he wow, he was even a freaking top four. So yeah. We had to get into the top three or yeah, really to get something great. Okay, so we're not gonna get anything good unless we somehow luck out, but he's not gonna be this guy there's no way this guy's gonna be elite, I don't think. So maybe target Dimitriev. Our scout thinks he should go higher. So maybe maybe that's the guy to grab. I think we're gonna go with Alexander Dimitriev. Because our scout seems to like him a lot. Our, our scout, I mean, it's not 100% accurate, but, you know. Let's go for Dimitriev. Winger, playmaker, see what he's like. 65 top six, not horrible. But, yeah, I was kind of hoping for a steal out of there. I don't think we're going to see any of that. We'll go through the top ten, but I'm pretty sure we won't. Okay, that guy was a top six, at least. They're all kind of around the same. Oh, that guy was actually slightly better than everyone. Interesting. Oh! And Winnipeg gets a steal. Oh, fuck. They wanted to give that pick up, too. That sucks. Wow, that's good for Winnipeg, but it sucks for us. Oh, nice. All right. So I wonder if that's going to be uh, more prominent here. Okay, top nines, low top six. So probably can't even look for a low here and hope for a low elite. Gonna, and we don't even know anything about this Zane Eastward. Not even going to try to pronounce it. Wasn't there like a Carolina Panthers running back with a name like that? Way back in like the 90s. Maybe hope for this guy. Oh, that he's pretty short. He might not be an EA generated dude. But that's probably our best bet for anything. So let's go with Zane Eastwood. I feel like that name is familiar though. Low top six. Playmaker. All right. Keep going. This is pretty much a throwaway draft after that first. Oh my god! Wow! A medium top six going to Detroit. Okay. And we just have zero scouting. <laughs> Maybe I should go for one of these guys. Seems like they could jump out. Let's go for Tag Bertuzzi. Top nine. God damn it. <laughs> oh, my, oh man. Didn't turn out. Whatever. Vyacheslav Tikhanov. Ivan, maybe go for a goal. Oh, he's real though. Damn. Is there an EA generated goaltender? Nope, not anywhere around here. So let's go with the Ukrainian. Vyacheslav taking off. Low bottom six. Yikes. There's all blind picks though, man. Like literally, I have no no scouting information. That's rough. What were we doing? What were do we even have scouts? What were we even doing? All right, please be fake. No. Still, and now everyone's real. So, ah, damn it. I was hoping for like a EA generated. Wow, are there none of them? Yuri, I'm kind of just going to keep going for 
EA generated guys because that's probably the best bet for anything. All right, yeah, let's go for that Russian dude, Vorbiev. Let's hope. <laughs> Another low bottom six. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna find any steals here, guys, and we're already down to the AHL area. So now for sure, look for a Ian Camilleri, 18, maybe EA generated. Who knows? We'll we'll try it. See if we can get something special. Fringe starter. It's not horrible for this area. It's got a decent amount of value. Speaking of which, I wonder if how different the values are. They want to give us, you know what? I, I, I'm i going to take this. I think I'm going to take this. They want to give us an extra seventh for next year. We're moving back only a few air spots. Sure. I usually don't take trades, but that's actually a good trade. We get another seven for next year. Swap sevens here. It's not the biggest deal. Probably go with another goaltender. Just hope for the best. Come on. Seventh round steal in the back of. Low backup. Yikes. Okay. So that'll do it. <laughs> Nothing else here. Well, that's all right. Not the greatest of drafts, but again, there's nothing really amazing there. Dimitrov could be a decent middle six guy. Depending on how he grows, we'll see. All righty. So <laughs> let's go to resign phase. Take care of all that stuff. But that's our expansion draft and entry draft. Do we have any to actually sign anyone? Yeah, we got to sign. Yeah, so Strom is off. So he's going to want a contract. Let's offer him a contract. That's not a bad deal. Takes him up till he's 30. It's really not a bad deal. He might not want the 25% uh, trick here because it's not a midseason. Oh, wait. No, he actually wants a lot more because we actually don't have space. Lol. We actually don't have space to sign Strom. That's friggin' hilarious. So I just picked him. <laughs> well, we can qualify all those guys and hope he signs at that price. Oh, we can make some trades. That's fucking hilarious. Uh. Yeah, I'll probably just tender all these guys. All right, we'll see if he signs for that. And then we don't have any money. We'll have to basically have those guys tender. But we we can move stuff around. That's that won't that shouldn't be the biggest of deals. We'll be able to make some moves. <laughs> just tender them all. Not going to sign any of the guys we just drafted. None of them are really even... Although, this guy can play AHL. So, my, actually, you know what? I will sign him because he can play AHL. Yeah, let's sign him. Let's get him on the AHL squad. Uh, tag cannot. Eastwood should be able to play. Yeah. Is he good enough? Eh, might as well. I at least control where he plays. And we're going to need some guys under contract. So, yeah. I might as well. Tikhanov. You know what? I'll sign all, all the Russians that we got because they can all play... AHL. And we, we're not going to like max out on contracts anytime soon. This will save us from having to go crazy in free agency. Bertuzzi doesn't make sense to sign. He'll be exempt anyway. <laughs> I have to actually make some trades here. Which is fine. I planned on doing some of that anyway. But it's actually Strom. <laughs> which is hilarious. We can maybe trade Gardner or something like that. I, I was going to make some trades for uh, for like some picks anyway. But now with Strom, that's hilarious. Maybe went a bit too crazy. I forgot that he would actually have to be signed. <laughs> but it's all right. Next year, we, it won't be a problem. Zajac coming off contract, etc. so forth. Do we actually have any goaltenders who need to be signed? One needs to be tendered. Montembeau. Although, does he want a two-way? Because then it won't really matter. Nope. All right. We got Ingram. Ooh, he is a starter potential. 23-78. You know what? He can get to a nice little low mid-80. 82, 83. That could be decent for us. Expensive goalies. But it is what it is. Quickie is going to be a good backup. Alright, let's actually see if uh, Strom's going to sign for that. I don't think he will. And we can't actually move dudes around. We might just lose him for free. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Maybe more money would persuade him. Um... Yeah, we'll get right on that there, Strom. More money. I should have traded someone at the draft. <laughs> Maybe he'll do it for like one year. Let's see. It does go down. We'll try one year at this price. I don't think I still don't think he's gonna sign. I've had to spend a lot on qualifying offers. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to get Strom back because we can't, can't freaking trade either. That's amazing. Oh, I'm already, already the best GM out there. Well, he's going to drop the free agency, so we might as well focus on signing some of these guys. We're going to need to free up space anyway. Let's see the lowest contracts we can get some. Oh, my God. Holy hell. Well, we might actually just start freaking trading half of these dudes for assets. I might actually do that. Just start loading up on picks because we know the draft classes are going to be strong. Yeah, fuck that. I'll just... <laughs> Can I... I can't unqualify him, though. Ah, there's no way I'm going to get Strom. Because I can't make a move. Unless we buy someone out. Let's buy someone out. I never, I never buy anyone out. Let's buy someone out. We could buy out Zajac or something like that. Oh, can we not? What? Wait, 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 wait. Why can't I buy anyone out in this period? Seriously? Okay. See, that's how how little I buy people out. All right, whatever. We'll lose Strom. That's, that's not a... <laughs> He's going to free agency anyway. What New York pay us to do that? All right, go up to free agency then. <laughs> Got everyone tendered. Oh, Balser signed automatically, as did Carlson. That's fine. That probably helps us, at, to be honest. Okay, now can we buy someone out? I guess there's no buyout option. Well, that's how little I buy people out. Where could I have done that? Is it in view? Was it in view contracts and I just was an idiot? Probably. That's okay. I never buy people out. I don't believe in it. I believe in signing good contracts. Let's see. I no, see I can't even I can't even buy people out here. So I don't know. Who knows, man, but we got guys tendered. Strom went the free agency. <laughs> that is goddamn hilarious. Let's see who's available in free agency. We still got fog of war off, but whatever. It's not like we're gonna go what? I guess a lot of this wasn't updated. Well, at least Strom was supposed to go to free agency anyway. I mean, we still might be able to grab him. I'm really confused as to why I can't buy people out. And or maybe I'm just missing. But I'm not. I'm clearly not. There's no option for it. Who the hell knows? I don't know. Maybe you guys know. You can let me know. That's that's just how little I buy anyone out. I don't even know where the option is. Don't even know when you can buy people out. Because you know me. I'm all about getting those good mid-season extensions. The team-friendly deals when we have an elite roster. But we have tons of guys. Tons of guys. On... I can't even trade right here. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> oh, I'm losing it. Oh, yeah, I know how to trade. Get out of here, EA. Um, oh, my God, stop. Yeah, we can, like, move to Brusque if we want to. He wants, he's wanting a lot of money there. Like, a, a stupid amount of money. We could actually make some trades, load up on picks, grab some garbage players here. Like, the, the, the values here are not bad whatsoever. Oh, I still got Fog of War on. Some of these guys will hold on to, but DeBrusque, what's his upside? Mid-80s, we can get a first for him. And a first that might be able to turn into something special. Just load up on tons of firsts. Get a, as best of a scouting squad as we can. I mean, why not? Like, really, how much more is he going to grow? Probably not a whole lot. We can do that. We can really... We can even give him back to the teams. <laughs> so, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm thinking about doing that kind of stuff. Being a little uh, relentless here. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about that. The expansion draft and that first little throwaway entry draft are in the books. The Seattle Dancing Crabs entering the NHL ready to take over. So let me know what you guys think. Remember to hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.